Hey everybody, what's up? It's been, it is uh, Wednesday night, and tonight, today, I'm going to talk to you about the greatest music genre of our lifetime. And this is going to be a long video, so bear with me. Today we have Taylor Swift, which I think she is the most overrated, in my opinion, musicians of this generation. And so are anything from Lady Gaga's album to TikTok today, and anything today like these this COVID music on TV commercials like Google Pixel, okay? If you with rap, techno, and robot music remixes and people today like Ava Max and all this other music stuff like and the ones over the past from Lady Gaga's album The Fame Just Dance to today's music sucks. Including Apple Bees on a Friday. All these dance things, even from a year ago on TikTok, like um, uh, Teo Cruz's new version of Dynamite, all this stuff sucks, okay? Today's music absolutely sucks. Like, Get down on the phone. I want this publicly to go out there. And I'm going to talk about the greatest music era if you are 30. I'm 34. And I don't like, I'm tired of this. Let me, yeah, do me, yeah. I'm tired of that music. I'm tired of, look at my dab, look at my dab, all that stuff. I'm sick of it. I hate it. It sucks. Let me, I hate this music today. I just want to talk to you about it. Yeah, we're playing like Applebee. I'm sick of this stuff, this bull crap. All this music never ends. They're, they just, as long as they have iPhones and social media, they just won't put an end to it. It is everywhere. All this music stuff. Like, I don't know who's the one out there. All these people like... Oh, I don't know. Who are these people? Drake, Mingos, The Weeknd, Blinding Lights. I frigging hate this shit. Excuse my language. Okay, I'm going to talk about 90s music. And if you are my age, what I was saying was, you are so dang lucky to grown up, have grown up in that era. That was phenomenal music. Yes. <sighs> Christina Aguilera, The Backstreet Boys, Nirvana, Smashing Pumpkins, 1989, that's a song, Blink-182. I'm going to tell you something. The 90s music was fantastic. Why don't people not use social media to make this music anymore? Songs that really stand out. I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Raitt. Um, the 90s, okay. In the 90s, at least, they had a melody with beautiful stuff. So gorgeous. They had, it made sense, you know. Hootie and the Blowfish. I only want to be with you. Why can't we have music like this anymore? Even Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. The Backstreet Boys. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, you know, Barbie Girl, that was one. Um, the Doug theme song from Nickelodeon, the late Coolio, come along and ride on a fantastic voyage. Why can't we have music like that anymore? Those kinds of songs had Muse, they were at least they had a meaning to them. We don't have meanings anymore. Just remixes with techno crap. I'm so tired of it. It's been going on since the fame. Just dance. I'm it from there. That album in itself, if there's one celebrity that I would like to write. It would be Lady Gaga, and I would like to let her know that she forever destroyed the music industry. I would never do it. 
but she inspired Teo Cruz, Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, Ariana Grande, these kids, and all the sorry music that I was explaining before the 90s. It's because of her. She destroyed music in 2007 or 2008 or somewhere in there. And still, the music, here it is, 2022 post-COVID, it will not go away. Scars to your beautiful, oh, I am don't hate like, I hate, I mean, I meant, I hate that music. God damn it, I'm sorry to cuss, but I fucking sorry hate that music. I hate it. That music sucks. Why can't we have good music anymore? I mean, I mean, that music, I was at the ACC Championship in Charlotte, North Carolina about a week or so ago, and they played Teo Cruz's Dynamite, speaking of. It's everywhere, whether it's in a restaurant or a store or whatnot, what have you. I hear that fucking song as well as, excuse my language, all the others that have come out that are newer because of Lady Gaga shit. Excuse my language. And all and millions of little girls and boys all over the United States put their them singing songs to it. I'm sick of it even if I can turn back time to the good old days. I hate that stuff. I hate that music. I hate it. I wish it never existed. Okay, back to the 90s. Sorry. I love the 90s. And please forgive me for all the swearing. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not a swearer, as you've seen in my other videos. I liked the Smashing Pumpkin Smash Mouth. Why can't we have that? Hey, now, you're an all-star. And the Wallflowers. One, two, three, Marlenas. How about Hanson? Mmm, bop, 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 mmm, bop. At least that made sense, you know. At least it made sense. I mean, and then you had um, even children's songs like Raffi, Baby Beluga in the Deep Blue Sea. That stuff was good. Swim so hard. I grew up with that. <laughs> that was 90s too. And Swim So Free. I mean, that was good stuff. I mean... Even, what else? My mommy comes back. She always comes back. That was a man named Hap Palmer. What a great music that was. That was, a, a, even children's music was back then was great. I mean, look at all the other things you had, too. You had um, even Dave Matthews Band, um, like songs like I Did It, Guilty, you can say what you want to about Dave Matthews' band. I know that some people think he sucks, but 90s Dave Matthews' band, like it or not, was amazing. What happened to the music industry? It's that killer album, that one album that Lady Gaga made. All went infamously downhill to today. It took... A decade and two years. Even, I'm so happy. I got this one stuck in my head. I'm so happy that I can't stop crying. I'm so happy. I'm laughing through my tears. I'm laughing through my tears. That was Sting. Dun, dun. I'm so happy that I can't stop crying. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm laughing, laughing through my tears. I'm laughing through my tears. And Bruce Hornsby, he had some incredible music. What happened to this? Bruce Horns, Hornsby had Mandolin Rain. He had, you know, and Bonnie Ray, I mentioned her earlier. Because I can't make you love me. Something it won't here in the dark and these final hours. I will lay down my heart 
and you, I feel the powers, but you won't, no, you won't, cause I can't make you love me. If you don't, that music made sense. That was all the 90s, and I'm going to go on some more about it. Um, TLC, you had, don't go chasing water. I'm sorry, I have a bad voice, but don't go chasing waterfalls. Um, that was one. Um, don't go chasing waterfalls. I mean, I miss all that. What happened to music? You know, I also miss songs like by, uh, my voice is off tune. <sighs> yeah, I miss music of the 90s. I mean, even Yanni, you had Yanni, who I played on the piano before, um, you had um, Carlos Santana. You had um, that was Doctor Sockies. He was he was um nineties too, and also my voice may come back. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. Said I don't want to leave you lonely. You can't make me change my mind. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. Said I don't want to leave you lonely. Give me one reason. Well, that was better, but anyway, that was Tracy Chapman. She was the 90s who, all of this I'm telling you, was 90s. Even... Um, I can't sing on key, sorry, but that was Steve Kajilla. He was 90s too. He had nifty notes that was played on The Price is Right. That was 90s, okay? Um, I mean that was all 90s. All of this all of these songs I'm explaining or singing were 90s music. That music made sense. And even I'm singing this well. Romance. I got the girl knocking down for a day. When the moment of this seems like yesterday, talk about time, all we get is lonely. Turn your love around. You can turn me down. I can turn you down. I can show you how to do that. Dun, dun, turn your love around. Dun, 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 dun. That was 90s too. That was George Benson. And also, oh, I love that stuff. Oh my gosh. And even. Dun, 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 dun. Diwana is my side. Think it's time for a change. You may get disgusted. Some think I'm out a little strange. Hey, kids, I roll on the ground. Then some heavy breath. Now don't have to worry. Well, that what it's worth. What it's meant. Hit it. Oh, Domino. Dun, 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 dun. Roll me over, Romeo. Ah, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Domino. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Romeo the Romeo, uh, here we go, no, 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 say, hit it, oh, 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 oh. 
Domino. That was 90s too. I said, oh, oh, Domino. What happened to that music? Nirvana? It feels like Teen Spirit? Oh my gosh, Blink-182? All the small things could care. Blow brings. All of that music was the 90s. Last millennium. Why did music have to go from to what it is now? Why couldn't they have kept the same style? I don't understand. It makes me so mad. I guess, like I said, Lady Gaga is the reason. Her album, The Fame, changed music in the negative way for gosh darn it ever. And I'm not going to cuss again. What happened? I'm sorry for my rant. <sighs> what happened to music? I mean... Even that song by that girl Kesha 10 years or so ago. Your love is my drug. That sucked. It sucked. Also, you had in the 90s, too, songs like... What's that other one? E eating chicken soup with rice. Every elementary school in the South and beyond had paddle once... Paddle twice, eat that chicken soup with rice. That was Carol King. You know it, it was no, no, no. Eating chicken soup, eating chicken soup, eating chicken soup with rice. That was the 90s. What else was the 90s? Oh, my gosh. Coolio, Buster Rhymes. That was 90s too. That was good stuff, you know. Give me some more by Buster Rhymes. How about, I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you the moon. Nobody makes music like that anymore. <sighs> Even don't break, I just said this maybe, don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. You just don't think it, understand? That was good stuff. It made sense. And if you tell my heart... My achy, breaky heart. Dun, 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 dun. Why can't they make music like that anymore? Why? Please explain. Even Joe Shrugs. Dun, 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 dun. Late last night. Late last night when you were asleep. Um, Late last night when you were asleep. Someone put ice skates on your feet, rolling down the water. What happened to that stuff? Late last night, while you were asleep, that was Joe Scruggs. That was good music. That was 90s, too. That was for children, but it was still incredible music. It was all part of the 90s genre era. And Smash Mouth, hey now, you're an all-star, get your right, um, that was just, and even more songs by them, you are the foe, the friend, you are the paparazzi, and the world's a face, and the world's a play, and the end is near, so push me wine black just in time, thank everybody, you're gonna take them again. The way that you are, it's just the way that you talk, like there ain't a thing. And every single, it's just great music. And also, love me, love me, say that you love me. That was all, hear me, and even, don't speak, I know just what you're seeing. It's always noon, baby. Don't tell me cause it hurts. I know she and no doubt Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton are sometimes, but they're ha on right now. They're on Christmas right now and this time of year, but they're has beens. But Gwen Stefani, no doubt, in 96 was phenomenal. She rocked the world. She was amazing. What happened to music like that? 
what happened to all of this. Oh my goodness. And even the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, and twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. Even that child preschool music was great. Even, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? And here we go, loop-de-loo. Here we go, loop de lie. Here we go, loop de loo. All on a Saturday night. That was 90s too. All of this. All of it. Every single thing. And even Thomas the Tank Engine super song. Dun 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 dun. dun. And Wayman Tisdale music too. Dun 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 dun. dun. And Pat Metheny. Even Pat Metheny. This is not. America, sha la 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 la, this is not. Ooh, there was a time a stormy blue so. Ooh, no, 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 to me. Oh, this is not America, sha la 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 la. That was 90s too. You bet it was. All of this. Even songs like Yeah, which is on one of my videos. Come on now, sing it now. That was Bobby McFerrin, okay? That was Simple Pleasures. That was 90s too. I'm only talking about 90s and why music today, why can't it be like, can't be like this? Why can't it even take me down on Copper Line? That was James Taylor. And so was uh, Arnold McCuller. He was 90s too. Absolutely. All of this. Arnold McCuller was a part of the 90s as well. And so was Lyle Mays who played with Pat Metheny. And Steely Dan was 90s, too. Um, all of this. Even a Raffi song. Over in the meadow where the cows and the... Dun, doo -doo 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 that was 90s, too. Um, Steely Dan's Two Against Nature. That was 90s. What else? I could go on and on. Well, I'm just saying the name of the band. The Bare Naked Ladies. It's the perfect time of year, somewhere far away from here. I feel fine enough, I guess, to say everything's a mess. That was nice, too. And hit me, baby, one more time. And the Macarena and the Spice Girls. Macarena. Hey, Macarena. That was the 90s, yeah. Everything I'm mentioning, Livin' La Vida Loca was 99, even. By... By... Yeah, by M Mark Anthony. No, by, um, no, by Ricky Martin, I meant. Yeah, that was 90s, too. What happened to this wonderful music? Even fill them with joy and with cheer the months of the year by George and Somebody for kindergartners. That was 90s, too. Even Norman Foote, a Canadian singer-songwriter, um, he was from the 90s. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. The song Vince Guaraldi that you're hearing now. Dun, oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, I wonder how your branches... Even though that was on the piano, that was 90s, and so was... David Benoit and Linus and Lucy, who he also played on the piano from Peanuts... And oh, also, and Snoopy, also, what else was 90s? Oh, yes, New Age jazz artists, like the man who's from right here, who I'm influenced by, Peter Karoff, who I've said before, my um, piano inspiration, who I knew personally. He was a New Age pianist Steinway artist from the 90s, considerably. And so were Emil Pandolfi and George Benson, and Yanni, I guess you might consider him the 90s. There was also a song from the 90s that went 
It was new. I can't remember the name of it, but it was real, real popular in the nice. All of that was 90s. That was 90s too. And so was I'm, the kids' song from preschool. I'm going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? That was from the 90s too. All of this was 90s stuff. So many genres. Even Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks, he was the 90s, even country artist, George Strait, George Strait and Alan Jackson was were both from the 90s as well. Oh, what happened to this stuff? Even some Disney songs like Whistle While You Work, that too was from the 90s, depending on who you ask. And When You Wish Upon a Star from Disney, that was 90s too. Oh, no, the 90s. I miss it. And even, we call it kid songs. Tap to the beat. Sure, everybody's gonna move to the beat. We're the kid songs coming to town. Soon, everybody's gonna move it around. That was 90s. And so was do 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 one of my favorites do 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 What do you do when you're lonely? No one's waiting by your side. Dun, dun, dun. You've been running, hiding much too long. You know it's just your foolish pride. Layla, you got me on my knees. Layla, beg you, darling, please. Layla, darling, won't you ease my worry mind? That whole, all this stuff made sense. Bruce Hornsby. It's always another wall. Sometimes you feel so small. You can pick me up when I fall. Be the one to help me through it all. Be there when I call. Everything comes and goes. Oh, you try to believe whether you never know. Any way, they, way the wind blows. Maybe someday, sometime, I will walk with you. All of this was 90s. Even Elton John, like, even songs like Elton John, like, I took myself a blue, ooh, canoe, was 90s too. And I floated like a leaf. All of this was 90s. What happened to this awesome, amazing... Decade of music. Steely Dan Peg was popular. Oh my gosh. And so was James Taylor. And, and let us turn our thoughts today to Martin Luther King. We are reckoned that in times between us. Oh, no, 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 no. That was nice, too. And, oh, by the way, also, in this world, there's a whole lot of trouble. In this world, there's a whole lot of shame. That was carpet, um, that was, yeah, a 90s song, too. All of this. Even, even Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Not the one we lost, but the other one. Not Vicky, Mc, not Christina McV, Krista McV, Chris, McV, I mean. But that was Stevie Nicks. She was 90s too. All of this was 90s. All of it. I'm just talking about the 90s. I'm only talking about today's music because of, I think, how much it sucks. I'm just going to throw in a couple of mid-2000s music, one really the 90s, but I'm just going to name two or three that I'm going back to the 90s for a few more minutes. Coldplay, um, Rihanna, who's performing at the Super Bowl halftime 
was actually all right in the mid 2000s as well as in addition to Rihanna and Coldplay mid 2000s music was okay Hillary Duff and Avril Lavigne and Green Day I'm not going to elaborate but okay back to the 90s all right so the 90s, mid-2000s, all I'm going to say is that was okay music, too. Okay, 90s music also included the Backstreet Boys, but they came later, 98 Degrees. Oh, I am cold and I am shamed, found it broken on the floor, and who's a never change? And Sonny came home. That was good stuff. Oh, even that, and and as well as... It's just Jennifer Page, and I don't want to wait till my our lives will be over. And Seal, I believe, and even as much as you like him, hate him or not, love him or not, he, even though he made the public eye over four or five years a bad rep, gave the public eye a bad rep, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can show. I see, see it open through that running door. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. Even that music, R. Kelly, was good. All of this. And I know I'm going overboard here, but I'm going to end it here. 90s music was the best decade we have seen in our lifetime. We are so fortunate to have seen it. I don't know why today's music can't be like that, but it isn't. And it's so sad. Now, yes, I wish I could write Lady Gaga to tell her how angry I am at how she changed the world of social media and how it's so easy to make videos of yourself singing any TikTok Ed Sheeran as well song. It makes me so damn mad. Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss, but please, I'm going to end it right here, folks. I hope you have a good night. And have a good rest of your week. I just wanted to talk a brief while about 90s music. The greatest generation in music, I think, in my opinion. Click, smash that like button. Click like or subscribe. Hit subscri like and subscribe. And let me know what you think. What is your um favorite decade of music. The 80s were phenomenal, all of this, but especially the 90s. Oh, I wanted to add two more songs. You gotta see my new computer, gotta check it out. Tell me what it's all about. That was from Sesame Street. That was from the 90s too. And no, 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 no. And also, and also good good music from the 90s. I'm going to maybe talk for one more minute about it, but I've got to go soon. Another great 90s genre song was Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. You live, you learn. She sang those songs. And also, I like Thank You, India. And also, Everything's gonna be all right, rock a bye. And, and also I liked um, the Spin Doctors. If you want to call me baby, just go ahead now. I mean, what happened to this stuff? I'm just gonna ask the question. Let me know, peace. Have a good night. Comment if you like. I know that this is a very, very long video. But also, oh, I needed to add two more artists from the 90s. Cheryl Crow. This is home. Home. That was 90s. And so was um, the Counting Crows. Ten, two more days up in the canyons. And Phil Collins, the Genesis. Those two were also 90s. What happened to this genre? Let me know. Comment, please. And take the time to watch this piece. What happened to 90s music?